Hey. <coughs> Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you've never been here before. We're at the gas station really quick, but I am on my way to a hair appointment because I'm gonna go get my hair trimmed because I have split ends and then I'm gonna go get it gloss, just with a clear gloss, no color or anything. But this is my 21st birthday video. I'm so freaking excited and I don't even know why because I'm not even doing anything crazy. Like usually, you know, when people have a 21st birthday, I feel like they get wasted. Um, I have no no desire to do that because water hurts my stomach really really bad it's also like not great to drink with the medication that I'm on right now so I don't know if I'm gonna drink it's just gonna be me like treating myself pretty much because it's my birthday but the first step to that is getting my hair trimmed and glossed and it's gonna look beautiful it's currently February 17th and my birthday is on February 19th oh crap I just remembered that I have to call to make an appointment somewhere. Uh, I Hi, I called a few days back and I finished making my appointment. We're gonna go get money out and then you guys will see me at the hair place. It's going really good. I love the smell of this stuff. I don't know why. Your eyes look really pretty right now and your eyelashes look phenomenal. Just Thank thought you. you had to know. Thank you. They turned out really good today. Today's a good eyelash day. Because I am literally making you your own hat. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an egghead. Thank you. Yeah. You can see how shiny my hair is. Look at that. Okay, this is the hair. It's not that drastic of a change. We knew it wasn't gonna be crazy. Next, I'm gonna do my nails and I'm filming a nail video tonight, so I'll put some clips of me doing that. And then the next thing you guys are gonna see is probably going to be like on my actual birthday. It is the next day. It is February 18th. These are the nails. I filmed a whole entire tutorial on them and that video will be up. I'll put in a little clip though of me doing them really quickly. How these turned out I just wanted to do something like super colorful and fun because I feel like that's like what birthdays are about I don't know see you guys tomorrow So for my birthday, my skin decided to gift me these two lovely twin pimples. They're beautiful, I know. And I don't want to pop them because then that like clear liquid stuff is going to come out for like an hour and I'm not going to be able to put makeup over it and I don't know. But they also hurt really bad. I'm just going to do a little bit of makeup. I feel like I haven't like updated you guys on my life recently and there's been like so much going on. I'm not getting paid to say this, but they did send me this stuff. Like a tinted sunscreen, but it's a moisturizing sunscreen, face lotion, broad spectrum, SPF. SPF 30 water resistant, dewy radiant glow. 
And one of the main reasons why I like it is it's fragrance free and fragrance really is no bueno for my skin. It like irritates it and makes it really red. I like this one too because the tint isn't like insane and it doesn't leave a white cast. My face started really breaking out when I went on my anxiety medication and I'm on Lexapro. And if anyone else has experienced breaking out when they go on this medication, can y'all let me know? I've also been eating way better though. I kind of started doing that right when I went on the Lexapro as well so I'm like maybe my body's just detoxing because I've been eating like not on purpose but I've been eating more plant-based like, I still eat eggs and I still eat meat and stuff but I just like gravitate more towards fruits and vegetables for things just because I really like them I know you can go through like a detox kind of because like your body's kind of getting rid of all like the nasty shit that was in it all I know is I'm waiting for it to stop because every single time my face starts to get better it starts to break out again oh my god I hate these pimples so much very up oh my gosh that's gonna bother me all day can you believe we hit 100k i still can't believe it it happened like two days ago when i'm filming this so it was like an early birthday present i don't know what i'm wearing i think in the first clip i was wearing the brown overalls i want to wear i literally bought those overalls because i went shopping to get like a birthday outfit for today i don't really like the shirt that i got but i want to wear the overalls still and i couldn't wait to wear the overalls because i was impatient and i have no impulse control extreme but not decision. where if i do something nope, the wrong I'm way not. i'm not put gonna up the fucking seats bro <laughs> it's not that hey. Hey. hey what's up you guys welcome back to Kayla's show <laughs> all right i can't say what we're gonna get because then i'm gonna get demonetized but i think you guys can put together what I'm gonna get because it's my 21st birthday. I just wanna go and buy it because I feel like it'll be cool. Watch me not even get carded. I'm gonna go do that. I found this like really pretty drink on TikTok and we're gonna make that. It has like fruit in it and stuff and we're gonna make that, so. We're at the cake place and I thought we were just gonna get these like little bun cakes but Destiny is now telling me when she comes back that I have to close my eyes. So I don't know what she did. Oh, it it won't unlock! <laughs> Am I holding stuff? Yes, you have to hold it but you can't look I there. can't look the whole time! You can't look the whole time. Oh god. Okay. Yes. <laughs> hey guys. One job. Can't see. You guys can't. I can't see the cake. Can you? God, your driving is so scary with my eyes closed. Shutting the camera off now. So the angle is gonna be the, this one on the right ear is really weird, and whenever I do it, I have to like wiggle it around to find the back angle. Well, also to see for sure. Exhale. 
perfect. Nice and cute. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna put the ball on. You might feel some pulling, okay? Same then. Yeah, like I said, that. come back in six months. That's um, yay! Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm gonna clean up and I'll meet you. This is what the piercings look like. Honestly, the piercings didn't really hurt that bad. They just hurt afterwards. Cartilage one hurts more than this one, and this one you would think would hurt more, but I can't really feel this one. And this one, it's really bad for some reason. You probably saw it during when I was getting the piercing, but she said like you can hear this one. When she did it, it like sounded like a big crunch. Now we are off to the mall. I'm gonna get some food because I'm really hungry. We might go to like press a juicery and I'm gonna get like a smoothie bowl thing. We're at the mall. We've been here for a little bit and we did um, a lot of damage. And I'm gonna do a haul later and show you guys everything I got. I'm eating an acai bowl from Pressed Juicery. And then I think we're gonna go to Sephora and Ulta because I get like a free, like, present thing. Hello. My free Starbucks drink. Okay, I'm gonna go now because I can't vlog in public. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> So this is the drink I made earlier. It had to sit for three hours. So good. It's not It's not the worst water I've ever tasted, so it's fine. But I'm probably gonna take two more sips of that and throw it away. I literally only bought that stuff and made that for this video and because it's my 21st birthday and I wanted to get carded because I feel like that's a thing. I don't really enjoy water that much. Like, I like being drunk, but I don't like the act of drinking water and I don't like it hurting my stomach and it really likes to hurt my stomach. And I just have to be in the mood for it. And majority of the time, I'm not really in the mood for it. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna do like a little haul of everything that I got today. Also, I have a face mask on because I was really freaking sick and tired of seeing those two big ass pimples on my face. I was tired of it. So I'm just like, I'm gonna put a face mask on. And I needed one anyways. This is not my sweater. This is my boyfriend's. He bought this and he's wearing another hoodie. It's super freaking cute. But I'm actually gonna start off with this one. This one was a present. If you've been watching me, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love my charcuterie boards. And it's literally, uh, it's literally a book on just like different charcuterie boards. A bagel board. Guys, I'm about to up my charcuterie board game with this book. This is like one of the best things I've ever gotten in my life. And then I got this charcuterie board and like this and it's in the shape of a flower. I feel like this one will be super duper pretty for like a bunch of fruit. Let's start with Sephora. I wanted to go to Sephora because of course you get like a free little birthday gift. I love the brand Amika for hair products and it's like it's a little dry shampoo and then two hair masks. I just wanted to get that but then of course like I had to go and buy stuff because why not? I got this pre-wash hair oil and I've really been taking care of my hair recently and I've been doing pre-washes before every single one of my showers. I've seen this brand before and I've heard good things. It's called Fable and Maine. And then I also got a hair mask by them and it has no silicones in it and I'm trying to use less silicone on my hair just because my hair gets built up product really quickly. And then I actually just ran out of my powder and I've had like the small Laura Mercier powder powder for like over a year like the mini one and I finally ran out of it and I noticed in my last Vogue video that I did so I got this one and this is the anniversary edition oh sh did I get the wrong shade I'm gonna cry I got the wrong shade bro this was the only one left and I just grabbed it without even looking ah. anyways went to Ulta because I know they have birthday stuff too but they were like out of their birthday thing so I didn't end up getting it but I ended up buying stuff anyways because I can't go anywhere without buying something I got the Bobbi Brown face base I remember I got a sample of this a really really long time ago and I loved it and it's really expensive but I've been wanting it and it makes my makeup look so nice so I was just like you know what I'm gonna get it. And then I just got this little exfoliating face thing because I've had like so much dead skin on my face. And then I got refillable razors because I'm about to run out. So I went to Victoria's Secret and I got like a bra and underwear. 
but I'm not gonna show you guys that because that's inappropriate. My boyfriend's present to me was going out and I pick things and him like buying it for me. And one of the places I went to was Lush. I was like obsessed with Lush a few years back, like in high school and like 2015 and stuff like that. I just like kind of didn't buy their stuff anymore and and I really love taking baths because it helps calm me and I like to like meditate in baths and read and like reading in the bath with a bath bomb is my new therapy it's pretty freaking great but so I got this and it comes with three bath bombs but I'm super duper excited and then he wanted to buy me one other thing so I got this. I forgot what it's called, but it's like an oil bath bomb. It helps nourish and like moisturize your skin. Because sometimes when I take baths, if I stay in there for like a long time, my skin will get dry when I get out. Even if I moisturize. What I've been doing recently is I've been putting like jojoba oil and stuff in my bath. So then like my skin's getting more nourished. I've never seen oil bath bombs before. So I'm really excited to see how that goes. You know I've been wanting to get? I've been wanting to get one of those like rack things that you put in the bath so you can like go on your computer in the bath but they're like 40 bucks on amazon and i keep forgetting to buy one and whenever i want to buy one i'm like eh, i don't want to spend 40 bucks on like a rack but then i just bought a moisturizer for 60 dollars, so i don't even know my priorities are not in the right place i did want to get just like a few things of clothing went into pack sun so obviously i was gonna get something you know i just got this little t-shirt it's like in the brandy section at pack sun and i just wanted it because i've been trying to get more plain clothes recently i'm trying to build my basics because i'll find that i run out of like things to wear all the time every single time i go out i try and find something that's really good quality not super expensive but sometimes i'll put more money into it if it's good quality and it's gonna last and if it's kind of more plain because I'm trying to buy things that I can wear for a long time that aren't just gonna fall apart and honestly a lot of brandy stuff is like that for me like I have old brandy t-shirts like they're long sleeves and they're graphic t-shirts from like three or four years ago and they're still like perfectly fine like they're a little washed out but they look vintagey now so I've been trying to do that because I have found like I will buy something from PacSun or any like place like fast fashion-y and I get it and I wear it and I wash it like once and it's like way thinner and they fade and they just like don't look good anymore. They're like falling apart. So I've just been trying to buy like better quality stuff. I got these pink like just booty shorts. I love wearing these with hoodies like if we're going out to like go get breakfast or just to wear them around the house. And I don't have any pink ones. And then I saw this t-shirt. They had it like hanging up and I don't know why but I just really loved it. And this with like baggy jeans or or like some shorts it's just like it's a men's shirt and I just got it like oversized love me some oversized shirts I think this is the last item I went into a vintage thrift store I came across this long sleeve Harley Davidson shirt it's just like very oversized but I freaking love oversized clothes and like I just explained I've been trying to get stuff that isn't gonna fall apart when they used to make stuff a long time ago they made it so it like wouldn't fall apart and everything now is made to fall apart so you have to go and buy new crap so I've literally been putting money into getting like vintage clothes. I think in the first clip of this video, I was wearing brown overalls. Those I thrifted. And then I have another pair of black overalls that I thrifted from vintage stores because like they've been around for so long. They're not gonna shrink. They're not gonna wash out and they're not going to fall apart because they're already so durable. And yes, was it way more expensive than like a normal long sleeve shirt? Yeah, but it's gonna last and I love it. I think that's it for the haul. We went grocery shopping as well and I kind of just like restocked and I just got a bunch of vegetables and fruits. Restocked all my normal things. But yeah, today was so fun. I've never spent a birthday with friends before and I've always wanted to, but my family is like a very close family. I'm always at home for my birthdays and I've never really gone out with friends on a birthday before. So this was the first time I've ever done that in the 21 years that I've been alive. Whenever I tell people that they think it's really weird today has probably been like one of my favorite birthdays ever i love today so much i hit 100k like two or three days ago i just want to say thank you again i love you guys so freaking much like you guys are making my dreams come true i'm literally just like filming my life you guys are making so many things happen for my life and i appreciate you guys also thank you to everyone who sent me happy birthday messages i love you and i will see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe follow my instagram follow my tiktok oh follow my pinterest i started posting on pinterest and i had a video go viral in like a day on there. I was like, wow, I thought Pinterest was dead. I guess not. But I'll link it down below. Anyway, 
I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds to feathers. But my birds to scales, hand to hand, dropping corn straight down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Hey, always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gonna throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gonna get my drug use more dosage. Like I damn baby girl, I didn't think you know.